We're going to be doing problem 8 from the fundamentals of chapter 12. So here we have a particle travels along a straight line with a velocity of v equals, so we have v equals 20 minus 0 0.05 s squared, okay, meters per second. All right, determine the acceleration of the particle at s equals 15 meters. So what is the acceleration at s equals 15 meters? Notice here they, they give us a velocity as a function of space, not time. Okay, so what we're gonna be what we're gonna have to do right because we know that the first the first time derivative of velocity gives us acceleration, right? So what we want to do is apply the chain rule here, which will will be we'll have to get more comfortable with the chain rule as we move forward, right? So we know that dv ds equals, I mean, times ds dt, right, equals dv dt, right, because the chain rule of, of a calculus lets us do that, right, so then ds dt over here, that's just the velocity, okay, and then dv ds, that's just the, you know, the, let's just calculate that, the first time derivative of velocity with respect to space, so 20 minus 0 0.05 s squared, okay? And then that's our acceleration with respect to, as a function of s, all right? So let's do that. V, let's just plug that in. So 0 0.05 s squared, right? And then what's the derivative, first derivative of this uh, velocity with respect to s? Well, that should just be minus 0 0.1 s okay bring the 2 down so 2 times 0 0.05 times s all right and then that's our acceleration so instead of you know instead of simplifying it i'm just going to plug in or let's evaluate the acceleration at 15 meters so we have 20 minus 0 0.05 15 squared times minus 0 0.1 times 15 all right and then when we do this math out we should end up getting um, actually let's do it here so a at 15 right it's minus 13.125 seconds so meters per second squared all right so yeah, make sure you're doing this correctly in your calculator, and then you should arrive at your answer. All right. The main takeaway here is the chain rule. Okay, remember where you can write the acceleration as dv ds times ds dt. Okay, and you know we'll see this with uh, x and y. So if we want to do, um, let's say, y is 2x, okay, and we want to find dy, right? We know that it's going to be dy dt, but we can also write this as dy dx times dx dt. So we can actually take a derivative here, and then uh, what's it called? And well, actually, so we, we, we take the derivative of y with respect to x times dx dt, which in this case, it ends up being, uh, dep depending on what x is, we might have some value here. But remember, we can just rewrite um, dy dt as dy dx times dx dt, similar to what we saw here with acceleration. All right, and we'll be seeing that in the next few problems. All right, guys. Um, hope this video helped. If you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know down, down below. And don't forget to like, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.